The best thing about my ability to kill a man with my thumb is how easy it is for me to not do it. Until recently, the ability to kill a man with your thumb was considered a rare skill and something that most people could easily avoid doing. But now times have changed and anyone can kill with their thumb. We may have already done it without knowing, you and I. The greatest challenge of our time is how can we avoid killing thousands of people with our bare hands? This new coronavirus is different from anything that we have ever seen before. It is very contagious, very deadly, and an awful way to die. If you were to catch the common flu, odds are that you might pass it on to one or maybe two people. And then they would pass it on, and they would pass it on. And at that rate of infection, after 10 times, you will have infected between 15 and 30 people at most. And because the flu kills one person out of every thousand, those 30 people are likely to survive. But with the coronavirus, you can be infected without knowing it for a long time. You can pass it on without even being sick. You breathe on someone, you cough, you touch something, you pet a dog, you touch a doorknob without washing your hands thoroughly in between. And the infection rate is so high that you would pass it on to three people, they pass it on to three. So that three becomes nine, the nine becomes 27, the 27 is 81, the 81 becomes 243, the 243 becomes 720. After 10 times, you have given it to 59,000 people. And because the death rate is so high, thousands of those people will die. And you will have been a contributor to the deaths of thousands of people. Many of those will be doctors and nurses and hospital staff and paramedics and firemen and people who care for the elderly. These are the people who right now are on the front lines risking their lives to save ours. The very least that we can do is to put our lives on hold for a while in order to save theirs. Now stopping this virus will be costly, but that is nothing compared to the long-term cost to the economy, society, our lives, and our souls if we do not do everything we can right now to stop this thing in its tracks and hope that it is not too late. Survival of the fittest is a myth. We know that the ones who are most likely to survive are those who take care of each other. Businesses have closed. That is the best financial decision they could make. Just think about how much more money they will be able to make in the future by not being dead. Churches, mosques, synagogues, temples, places of worship have all closed. Our prayers will surely go unanswered if we contribute to the deaths of thousands of people through our negligence and carelessness. I will not be able to see my wife and daughter until this is over. It may be weeks, it may be months, but the wait will be worth it. Now, I have a quiz for you. Look behind me and see if you can identify the most important weapons there. That's right. Wash your hands frequently, do it thoroughly, get around the thumb, the fingers, between the fingers, the edges of the hands, the backs of the hands, the wrists, get your fingernails, get them all very clean. Do that frequently. If you have Lysol or wipes, some sanitizers, wipe down if you have to go anywhere, 
Wipe down your steering wheel. Wipe down your doorknobs. Clean frequently. Okay? It's a very, very powerful tool. And look to your national or local or international health organizations for advice on how to cope with this crisis. Thank you. We can get through this. I'll see you on the other side, God willing.